Welcome to my backlog, where I use a random number generator and my Steam controller to play through my backlog. Okay, so this is Hive Swap. It's yet another point-and-click adventure game, I guess. I followed the development of this game very loosely, so. There will be no voice acting in this. Pretty sure it was delivered. And that was the end of that. My name is... I know it's Joey, but... Sorry, you're going to need a minute. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you gave yourself a freak out because of the monster. The thing with all the legs and teeth and no one you better get away from. Ends up, though... Take a deep breath, let the uncertainty slip away, the toothy arm waggly darkness, so folks don't you know. You know your name is Joey Clare. I live just outside of the town of Haunts, which you are in no particular order, a puzzle solver, a semi-orphan, a dancer of multiple schools, a spying veterinarian, and a big sister. Neat. Speaking of, that monster, the one I barely missed eating your life, only you're not thinking about it right now, it might be heading back outside where your little brother is. You've got to warn him. Okay, uh, there is a lot of stuff going on already. And I'm going to start with the mouse. Mm-hmm, up the sensitivity a lot. Lord of Sun, and turn on Jaro. Yes. Turn into Brawl, because that's the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. More sensitivity. Excellent. Okay, let's see what all these buttons do. This is my thing, my eye. Cool. This is the menu. At some point, and the help thing, the hint function, and the bar. Okay. Then, just point and click adventure stuff. Your babysitter got you this junior veterinarian's med kit. It's kind of important to you, so you think you leave it there for now. It would really bust you up if something happened to it. Here's a bet. There's a raised and cushioned platform where you spend several hours every day unconscious and hallucinating. Usually, while well, the majority of other people on the continent are also doing the same thing. Yeah. Uh, you can tell that this was made by the same guys who made Homestuck. Not at least, of course, because of the art style, but if you've read Homestuck, and you might want to, maybe? That's very much the style of writing that's going on. I think, I believe this game is sort of like an actual sequel or spin-off of Homestuck. It's, it's fun. Your babysitter gave you this for your birthday. Joey, she said, this wizard's the best. He lives in this little wizardry orb, just swimming in spells and glitter. He will protect you. Look, he's doing it right now. Your babysitter loves wizards. Obviously, she's pretty great. Is it Rose? We may never know. It should be pretty safe on the shelf, which is the point of shelves, you suppose. Hmm, well, I, I disagree. I think shelves are more for cleaning. Let's keep things tidy. Mom won his award to run the same age as you for being best of belay. It's pretty. Books. You've got more pressing concerns right now than the book report you've had in nine to hand in Monday. Besides, none of these books are appropriate choices for a book report. According to your teachers... Damn them. Your teachers seem oddly fixated on award winning books where your bluffed dogs are introduced and then they have to be dies. You kind of hate that you're teachers sometimes. I feel that. Also, I hate books. Oh, that's just my, my thing, I guess. Look. Puppy surprise is having puppies. How many? That's a surprise. Puppy surprise. Puppy surprise. It's a great place to stash your keepsakes, where they stay as safe as teen hiding in a pet room from a snake monster. Which it apparently is very much so, because I've just been sitting here, just looking at things. You reach inside the expectant plush canine and... Puppy surprises having puppies! Keys! 
get. Diary key. Am I ready? You think you uh, maybe you should keep this beautiful heirloom with your mom's clothes? There's a feeling, deep, inexplicable, and possible to ignore feeling. Okay, this leads me to believe this is definitely a sequel. That's another thing beside the point. You try to remember if Clarissa ever got any gems like this. You have so much in common. A knowing little brother, a computer in your room, and a second story bedroom, and a... But you hate it, man, and Clarissa's life deviates from yours in a number of vertices. Her parents were around, she had a cool friend who was a boy, but not her boyfriend. No months in the yard, etc. Anything else fancy? Some... More toys. Ooh, ballet shoes. Along with ballet, you also study tap dancing. Oh, tap dancing shoes. Never decided what you prefer. Ballet is fun, but tap's also fun. In a different kind of way. You consider blending the two, wearing one tap shoe and not one ballet shoe at a time, but decided to fully master both and earn a respect for teachers for unveiling your banner shedding blap style to the world. Uh, I think it's already an existing thing. Called River Dance, right? Uh, it's quick tap shoes. You have to tap dance a bullet tech to your technique. Technique? Technique. Yep, those are words that refer to those concepts. You learn them literally just now. You know, these will help you if there's anything you need to shake up or shake off or just in the mood to shake it. Let's shake it. Shake the floor. Shake uh, this radio thing. You still need to warn your brother about that monster. That walkie talkie might be useful for that, as long as you don't stomp it to pieces first. Alright, let's pick it up then. Yep, no better, because you remember cannibalizing the walkie talkie when something else needed them, but you can't quite exactly recall exactly what that something else was. Well, let's see what else is battery powered here. This is Sir Bappy Paws Water, your beloved mantro chap. You tend to his fuzzy whims and needs when you trouble to imagine what they might be. What a daring dream. To combine the finest qualities of the animal kingdom with the nobility of humanimals. I mean humanity. Anyway, Sir Bappy Paws Water will have to attend to his own fuzzy whims and needs for a while. Got a lot of crap for your play right now. One day you hope to be a veterinarian. Then you can be the one caring for the fussy faced baby critters. Someone catches you at neck, snuggling them all, and tells you to take on a hike. You can flesh your fat badge and say you're here on professional medical business. Then they'll have to take you a hike. And they'll have to take the hike, not you. <laughs> this is uh, probably gonna take forever, so I'm just gonna think about this a little more critically and see if I can find something that's better to operate it. <clears throat> it briefly mirrors on the metaphorical significance of the flashing light. What could it represent? The past? The future? America? Your stupid brother. You need to get in touch with him. More of them. Gentrification is a real monster. Best of research come to your site. You sincerely hope you and your brothers aren't killed and need by these eyeless horrors. Doghouse. Fountain. Another monster. Final leaves. Take note of that. Are you pardon? Moon! Sun is your set, making for a glorious autumn eve. As such, what an all evening glory radiates from the heavens. Kissing the clouds on its way down to Earth. Stupid clouds, all untouchable and ephemeral and stuff. It'd be nice if those monsters were as weirded out by that weird skull fountain as you are. Unfortunately, that thing is probably monster chic. Poor puppy. That icky, sneaky thing hurt her. Well, you'd use your budding veterinary skills to patch her up and make it all better, but you'd also be very angry. Right now, least she doesn't seem to want to come out of her doghouse. You blame her. Finding a pile of leaves. Remember when you were raking up those leaves? Your dog knocked you over, and you laughed, and everything turned monstrous. Yeah, that was a good five seconds ago. Fidget games. Second law. Okay, let's take my time for that. Uh, I also know this game is going to be super duper long. You're not going to be playing as just Joey. There's going to be like at least one other main character. This is Act 1. There could actually be like 5 or 6. I haven't really been paying attention to that. They're also not humans, but that's beside the point, I guess. Simon. You gotta 
You really got a charge of this game. It's kind of bossy though. Does it have batteries though? Alright, that's where you put the bucket talk batteries, so just take them back out. Okay, one more for good old time's sake first. This is probably fine. Okay. So, it's good enough. So we really need to do this. Kind of in a... Kind of in a hurry. Just... okay. Uh, looks like the green button isn't working. Oh, well, it's not just satisfied. Might as well scavenge your batteries. Right! Success! The walkie talkie works like a charm now. A charm with battery power. You feel pretty pleased with yourself. It would seem you just solved your first spell's bomb of metal. Mini. What's sure to be a sweeping adventure full of mysterious brain busters. But again, putting batteries in anything is a technique for solving a puzzle, you'll suppose. To start coming on minor inconvenience. You created yourself. This is mundane, widely available modern technology. New care, though, you're counting it. I mean, I'm counting it because I'm playing the game. But, whatever. Uh. Let's call, uh. Let's go on to space. Jude? Jude, are you there? You're right. Yes. Been covertly seeking status and requests yours over. In the Latin? I don't know Morse code. <laughs> we're never using it, usually the circle code. Over. <laughs> enemy agents everywhere. Over. Wait, over and over. Still had confirmed vis a vis your condition following our enemy serpent encounter. Over. Please report bite status. It's fine. How many and how grows over? I'm fine. No bites, you weirdo, but thanks for asking, it was a close one. Great, was worried over. That reminded me, after I shut the door on it, I think I heard it clumpering, clumping off back down the stairs. I don't think you should leave your treehouse anytime soon, it might be headed back your way. No plans of leaving current location, you are trawling with Krypton Vanguard over. Uh, sure. Yeah, what I was going on, I guess we should just wait out here since we're both safe, we are. Where we are. One thing you might notice that uh, they uh, speak in weird intonations. Like, Joey apparently does not give a shit about uh, capital letters. Whereas Jude seems to be talking only in capital letters. This is also a thing in Homestuck where everyone just has a typing quirk. Fun fact, I guess. What? Why not? Purely defensive posture, tactically suicidal. Most is likely just distraction. Could have obscured additional agent on approach, over. You like more monsters, or... Can't discuss an unsecured channel. Can't be certain who's listening. But evidence points to Antares-class conspiracy cascade, over. Uh. Did you forget our discussion of conspiracy graduation nomenclature? Relation. Literally as it was happening, yes. His entire is bad. Really bad. In the heart of the scorpion, Joey. Over. I guess that's a good reason to not be my everyone get killed by monsters. Trust crucial on the battlefield, Joey. Hoping presence of monsters has tipped the equation away from typical skepticism, over. Uh, those are jumps. Tell me what's going on, dude. Your current position is not secure. Large shared phasing windows. Location compromised the enemy. Situation rapidly deteriorating, most abscond to attic. Must abscond to attic, Joey, over. The attic? Yes, the attic. Strong door, must stop with tentacle material. Take left out of bedroom and go upstairs. I don't actually know what Joey's voice sounds like. No one does. I think that's the point of it. So I'm just gonna keep going in this voice. Eyes room and house, over. I know what the attic is, Joey, just, just a weird suggestion. What else is new? A more inscrutable rambling for my treehouse lunatic brother? Don't understand. You sound confused. Trying to help. Over. Look, just shut up, okay? I'll sneak up there, lock the door, and you can... Uh... Call a babysitter. Too late to reach her at lap working day, long though. Over. Oh no, you're right. Agreed on both counts. Babysitter capable strifer. Could help tip skills. Might as well help convince you to get to safety. Dude, I'm gonna go to the stupid alley, okay? I'm sorry for being mean. Do you have your weapon? Over. Uh, I have tap shoes. Sure don't. You can dancing around. Serpent swarming everywhere. Over. 
You want to fight them with a flashlight? You don't blame me. Don't blame you for being nervous with high concentration of serpent presence. You must be brave. Your brother believes in you and knows you can beat the serpents over. Stop saying serpents. Do you recall where your weapon is over? I don't actually, but whatever. Yeah, it's in a closet. Alright. Understood. I'll sit then. Over. No, I mean the hall closet. Okay. Crap, over. Yeah, well, I guess I'll just have to take your word about all this. You are sure about all this, right? Absolutely, extremely certain, over. Over and out, squirt. Ah, okay, over. I just started. Hmm. Oh, that's, that's a pickle. This is worth something over here. Change clothes. You can try on some new clothes. What's a style montage with at least one party offering compulsory reaction shots for each outfit? Who's going to give you an affirming, affirming hat nod when you finally nail it? There are important things to consider before you carelessly plunge headlong into a style montage. These and other sort of been asinine things. Uh, I have options. Cool. Alright. Go through the door. You don't want to leave without writing what could be your last words ever in your diary. Exciting stuff happens to you once in a green moon. It's blue. Not too excited to think about in cause right now. And no, you're definitely not just stalling for excuses to avoid going on a phasing up beast. Uh, I don't know if that means that I need to save or I need to find an actual diary. I'm just gonna do both. Okay. Well, I guess there's the diary. Here's a key. Here's a lock. You're unlocking up your diary. Nice. Choose the secrets. Here you come. So they're just your boring secrets, so you don't care. Cool. Right. Maybe something from your past will shed some light on today's terror mysteries. Some little detail mentioned off and I've forgotten. A key kicking off a casual cascade of connections that terminates in a catastrophe of snake monsters. April 13th, 1994. Dear Diary, ho hum. Nothing much happened today. I tried to, to make some new friends at school to make me expand our shots to circle beyond just me and Jude's friends all the time. Why does a British call my brother's friends my social circle? Oh well. You know what? I mean, Diary. You know what I mean, Diary. I don't have any friends I can really call mine, so I'm trying to branch out. I guess it's better than calling them Webbery. They get to school jerks though, and they call me a poser when I try to talk to them about games and like good stuff. Between you and me, I think a bunch of kids at school might be evil? Jeez. And I'm surrounding all paranoid and like my brother. There's up to no good, I can't feel it. Next year, next day. Something like that. June 12th. <laughs> we first day of summer vacation. I can't wait to get a break from all these clients at school. Sometimes I think what I really need is a vacation from humanity. <clears throat> Months later, I can't believe I haven't recorded an entry since the beginning of last summer. Needless to say, I've come. I've been back to school for a while now. Next summer can't come soon enough. I came home to a drunk babysitter again today. Generous quality adult supervising vision we youngsters are getting around here. She means well enough though. I haven't heard from Pa in weeks. As we saw him, he popped into the house to drop off some stupid mummies and gloves or whatever, and skipped off to go on more adventures. Proposal. Also, how lame is it that he made us call him Pa instead of Dad while we were growing up? I miss Mom. If this has to be the last entry in your diary, then by gum, you're going to scare the bejesus out of whatever whoever finds it wants your sneak out. Sneak chow. Sneak chow. No food. November 11th, 1994. Dear Diary. So I guess it's today. Forgive my hasty and nervous scribbling. I'm kind of scared, but maybe also a bit excited. Anyway, I can't talk much now. There's a sly and cunning monster in the prowl. Possibly hungry for kit meat, too. So I've got to, uh... Okay, I don't have a darn clue what I have to do, but I'll fill you in later once I do it. Joey. Satisfied you've done your duty vis-a-vis -vis posterity in case of the worst should happen, you're relock your diary and hide the key again. Save and sound. Where it is. Since she's been gone, you've seen less and less of Pa over the years. Guess he's had grinning passions to move on to. Blue beauties. Yeah. Looks like Jade. I don't know. If writing a diary about techniques, please share. Over. I'm hanging up now. Not a phone, over. Click dial tone. <laughs> Can't see you through window. 
You're making sense with mouth over and out. All right. That's what you get. That is a weird man. Try to keep on ones and that didn't go as well. Right, let's go. It wasn't locked. No, of course it wasn't. Don't no unlock the door ever. Looks like the coast is clear for now. Better hurry over the call closet or teach your weapon for the crafty old serpent you mean sneak and get a drop on you. Um, uh, uh. It's your mother's jewelry box, a priceless heirloom of immeasurable sentiment of value. Also, there appears to be some of your brother's empty cans of Pringles. Alright, where's the closet? This is not a closet. Put your stuff that should be moving to the attic. There's some toys there too that you don't play with that much anymore. This is gonna probably use the trash. Yep. It's a nice house. A little messy, but that's just the point of it, I guess. Your light bright. Hours are fun with the numbers of hours and the degrees of fun depending on the power of your imagination, which in your case means many hours and a lot of fun. <clears throat> a lot of batteries and a lot of imagination. That's good to know. It's a hobby closet. If memory serves, there's a box full of old belongings of yours here. You wonder if it has what you're looking for. Huh, let's find out. Uh, there it is. You can't search the box while it's still up on the shelf. Drug. Mm hmm. We can. <laughs> Actually, your tap shoes might be the solution to this problem. If you could just get a good stomp going, you might be able to tell what that box is off the shelf. That's, uh, that's the solution, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yep. That'll do it. You pick through the box to find your flashlight. And an old pair of belly slippers. These will come in handy. Nice. There's a pet treat here, too. You keep caches in these all over. You never know when you need a pet treat a pet. Go ahead and try your flashlight. Click, click, no dice. A battery problem? You open it up. Wait, there were no batteries in here at all. There's a bunch of stupid pogs. Damn it, dude. So my old strife weapon. Guess what? It's full of your stupid pogs. Crap, forgot this. Please keep save over. Fine. Cafe. But I'm not gonna take especially good care of them. <laughs> Please protect Mulder at all costs over. Oh, yeah, you, Mulder. So Scully Pog is obviously where it's at. They're acceptable. Keep them safe. She's yours over. So I guess I head up to the attic now. That's the plan over. Ready to shake a leg now. Affirmative over and out. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those kind of games. Just lamps not even plugged in. There are at least nine possible light sources in your median area, so maybe you got lost in a difficult, well eliminated shuffle. It's good to know. You got your strife wound back. Time to head up to the attic, right? You're taking a leap of faith with Jude in this one, but he seems to at least think he knows what she's talking about. <laughs> I don't suppose I can take the darts, so... This is just a mess. From the first and last dart gun war with Jude, Belinda here provides great cover for those who refuse to use firearms. Maybe you. You tried to distract her with your tap dance and then stick a dart in him. It didn't work at all. Alright, up we go. Uh, up we go again, I guess. More junk. A bunch of stuff that should be moved in the attic. Yeah, it's the like someone was it said before. Look, the rare occasion he's home, Pa can be heard bumping around here while tending to his award of stupid antique trash or priceless artifacts, you mean. No, you don't. And apparently cursed orbs as well. It's luck. You need to get in here as soon as you can. Fear through the keyhole. Yeah, that doesn't look not cursed at all. Weird. What the heck is that thing? How long has it been there? Hey, the egg door is locked. Crap, I forgot about that. Tactical blunt on my part. Yeah, no shit. It's fine, no big deal. Just left the safety on my, of my room to be eaten by monsters in the hallway because my dork brother sent me to the safety of the wrong side of the lock. It's not fine, over. <laughs> Jude. Panic not necessary. Still need to get you to attic, over. For safety, right. Well, whatever. I'm trusting you, I guess. Appreciate that, over. 
but so far it hasn't really paid off. Joey, please, just needs you to head to the trophy room. Over. Gross, ain't that place. What is it? You even need a special trophy room. And our whole house is just this dumping around for whatever garbage he picks up in his stupid adventures. When I keep the attic there, mysterious winds of absent father is not relevant. Over. Okay, over now. Slinky. I love the touching and disturb whatever stenomical and probable equilibrium is at play. Just leave it be. It's not going to move anymore, ever. Just, just physics, momentum, and all that. What do you want? Affirmative, I got it. Oh, no. That was interesting. Gone! It's gonna get through the stream of water up to 50 feet away. Too bad you don't use guns, which means I can't equip it either. Mm hmm. You don't use guns. This is. This is the door to your neurotic dwarf of a brother's maximum security bedroom and keeps it locked up tight because of all the silly conspiracy pork he has in there. He's not sure to doubt you'll enter this room at time soon, but really, why would you want to? It's full of nerdy, stinking goober crud. Not to mention, it's where his pet usually lurks. You love all animals, but just the same. That's why you'd rather just let you deal with. That's a pretty, uh, pretty cool callback, I guess. This looks like them. This looks like Mothman. Some alien stuff. Right. <clears throat> so, Trophy Room, you see. Oh, look at those portraits. They're not going to look at right now. But I'm probably going to do so in my own spare time. Well, it seems the power's out. That should make the Trophy Room quite the adventure. Which is to say, not quite the adventure you wish we're having right now. Yeah, so there were like batteries somewhere, right? I'm sure they're fine. Well, it would seem the power's up. Classic psyops over. Credit words do. Best way to destabilize countermeasures. Leave you in the dark. Literally over. Not literally. It's still like late afternoon. It's you fine. Should have trouble getting the trophy room then over. Fine then, Mr. Mission Control. Yes, great. Over and out. <clears throat> oh, more stuff I could just look at. Can I pick this up? It's an average. That bird is, of course. This is a weird theme. Oh, I'll just throw a bottom in there and add some extra weight. Alright. The place, uh, do hit like hard. To the back room. This is weird. Alright. Play haunting melody. Oh, that would just be, <laughs> be just the thing, wouldn't it? Some kind of eerie, lonely sonata to really set the tone for the adventure ahead. Something in a minor key, maybe. It's a shame that would probably provoke a bunch of monsters to eat you. Also, you can't really play the piano. That helps. Scavenge. You pop open this behemoth and score. You pocket the E-cell batteries right into the old solidex. Damn. I don't think that my better than my takes there, but... These batteries are huge, so huge, they don't even begin to fit, like, fitting around a round peg into a round hole that's a bit smaller than the peg. You need some D-cells. Okay. Mm -hmm. Neat. This is, uh, the... Trophy room, I guess. This room is really giving you creeps. I guess it's just going to be sitting there forever. I need to find the battery zone. Hear something breathing. Something else, you mean, besides you. Yeah, it's going to be getting out of Right. And... Uh, where we go? Just as you passed through the living room, pulling the door shut behind you, it shut out as something heavy and wet slammed against it from behind me on the side. Can't see anything in the trophy room, it's way too dark. Odd. 
This is how it's navigable over. Consider utilizing flashlight over. Window one filled with your paws. The flashlight. Joey, please, over. No, use the only on the past. Doesn't matter anyway. Something's blocking the door to the driver room now. Something? Yeah, I'm not sure what. Strange. For now, I recommend focus on restoring power before sun sets completely. Over. Oh, uh, jeez, you're right. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for the reminder. Need electricity or retrieve key anyway. What? Can't discuss over on secure channel over and out. Probably an like electronic lock. What? Any hot tips for getting the power back on? Power outage seems to grant invaders significant advantage. Yes, not a regular tip. It's more like just an explanation of why I'm trying to do it. Not sure what to tell you. Circuit breaker probably in basement. See, that was very helpful. Doing my best. This is the door to... Interesting. That sound you've heard since you went to the kitchen grows louder as you approach. An awful static is like nothing you've ever heard and wants to go back to not hearing it as soon as possible. Turn the radio off. Pop open. Uh, batteries. Get. Jackpot. Diva cells. You can never have too many batteries and never in too many different sizes. That was exactly the kind of stuff I was looking for. Rumbo. Your babysitter has just really atrocious taste. You're only 14, and even you can tell this is really crummy. It's, uh, probably this one, right? Another electric device successfully powered through clever manipulation of resources in your immediate environment. You are on fire. With your flashlight fully functional and in fit fighting form, you feel significantly better equipped to handle most low line environments. Most to beat the bejesus out of any of these creeps that get too close. Well, that's a nice reserve, of course. And if it takes D batteries, then yeah, it's a pretty hefty device. There's a door here. I don't know much about American houses, so I'm just going to say that this is the basement. Um, huh. I heard mustache. Your baby says sometimes crack into your PA special reserve, and you tend to do it down here, so you and Jude don't see. You're not really sure what to say about it, or if you even have any business saying anything about it at all. Forget skiing stuff, no basement is complete without it. And your extremely limited experience of just one basement, I guess. Boxes. Try to move one box and the whole box is liable to come tumbling down on you. You need to find some way to get them all moving at once. Shake them up somehow. The control tumble, that's the ticket. Uh huh, yeah, sure. Boom! There we go! Yeah, I knew this game wasn't going to be too difficult because this game wasn't made in the year before 2000. So nothing stupid going on. Flip. Flip the breaker and nothing. The light goes off. And then on. Much concern. Let's go. There it is. It's battle time. Strife. Got no chance of beating this thing, you gotta get away. Step on it. You're so abscond. Stretch your luck. I guess this is not happening, huh? Let's do lunge. So funny. Let go of the past. Right. Prima Joe. Right. Power back on. You're doing psyops or from encroaching forces over. Gives you back light only to snatch it away. Describe hypothetical, very cruel. Dealing with sick operators over. No, it's just me, Chrome Jude. Snake monsters didn't face by the way. Once to get past them, we'll probably need to uh, deal with that at some point. Second so account was that serpent, correct? Beast of Wiley. But sister already established a pair willing widening this uh, tribute over. Hey thanks. I think. 
trophy room should be turning your obstacle over. We what? Add a key, Joey. I was in the prize. Give me the loop over and out. This door is blocking you. Block. This mummy is currently blocking your access to the rest of the house. He has been ever since your pa left him here months ago. Yeah, another chance of you being able to move Pharaoh Napoleon over here. Right, move on. Nice lamp. Let's go. No, it's, um... Hmm. Strike fire. Weapon. Not in your feet. Light bite. Y'all ready for this? It's fun stuff. It was the right tap. Oh, it looks hungry. Why didn't you say so? Fletch your eyes on the prize. Because I just need to keep feeding it then. Alright, uh. Alright, big guy, time for dessert. Treat to a pop. Alright, got it. That was awkward. Alright, monster figure death scene never. You are unbelievably stressed out right now. Congratulations, you've ascended to rank 2, attained rank of tail working tyro. I don't know when the mouse is still freaking out, but. Alright, next eight for hit points increased by 12, monster increased by 7. Rank 3, attained rank of minute, memo, rent mender. The considered increased by 2, grace increased by 7, leopard. Peppy petter, your master noggin bop. Hubris increased by four, courtesy increased by two, and so on. Right. No, I got this. Well, sorry, it's two guns, but they actually doesn't use them, so. Ooh, this is a uh, Horus. You know, your ontology. Horus or Ra? Well, you're either, either or. So, where's the key? In his desk or something? I think it's in the globe. Would never leave critical items in such obvious location. Okay, but like, where did you leave it? I just had to lure a hungry monster out of here on treats, and I'm not sure how much time I have for about this conspiracy escape is where it comes back. If room compromised, can't discuss countermeasures over our unsecured line. Utilize puzzler skills at over. Right. Kalik, if this is acquired over and out. Spin. You spin the globe and watch the white beam rake across the surface of the globe. That's something on it. Alright, let's see what we got here. You've never been totally clear on what's going on in this tapestry, but it certainly looks intense. Just look at it. That fire breathing serpent beast at the bottom. I read I figured it through what's there to you. Egypt. The first furries in the world. Probably. Hmm. <clears throat> As if being dead wasn't bad enough, your pot replaces I with some creepy glass orbs. The light refracted in there fast and stares at the creeps. But are you crazy or is there some light reflecting of his antler too? If it ever is closer, I'm drinking something. Look. There's something odd about the antlers. Can't quite put a finger on it, Can you? Maybe in a little sense? Give it a hand? Oh, well, that sure did something. It turned on laser, but that's it. Nothing else is happening. I thought you were a puzzle master. Zorn, it seems over. Well done, enough. I believe this calls for burns. McGruff's crime duck experience trouble. Unbelievable. Wait. This is is burn. Superior burn formulated. Ace Ventura, pet detective. Please respond if I was required over. Straight work. Maybe you're a real detective. You do manage to get your burns out on the first try instead of requesting two hours. Probably wounded, but unable to protest. I've been informed, mildly contentious banter, your cornerstone of squad camaraderie. 
Yeah, anyway, how am I supposed to solve this thing? Clearly a puzzle thing cries out to be solved. Who's marbles? Think as hard as I can, you know I like puzzles. I wouldn't be asking if it were an emergency. Actual marbles, over. What are you talking about? Trivial, really, over. What, marbles? I don't have any marbles. You don't? None nearby? No. Oops. Well, now I'm Jude Harley. And I guess that's a uh, good enough time, is it? To stop for now? I might. I might get to you this, I don't know. Just a point and click adventure game. It's just. It's just point and click. And though tonight is apparently the night you've been preparing for, laying so many preparations and countermeasures and countermeasure, countermeasures against. It would seem you made a rare tactical blunder. The marvels of Joey needs to dispense your strategic defense globe are here in your tree house. Time to call in the lone gunbirds. And I'll be doing that at some other point, maybe. Okay. So uh, I'm just gonna leave you with uh, as this. Sure.